Hey guys, welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. The first episode just went up today as I'm recording this. So, sorry for the little bit of delay on that, but that shows that I guess I haven't really played it that much. I've been a little bit busy, but we're gonna get back right Spicy on track. Spicy mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. No, oh, no, Sebastian. This is probably where, we're gonna, where our choices are gonna affect us in some form. But yeah, sure, let's go talk to Sebastian. What's up, Sebastian? How's it going? Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the three broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? It has to do with Raymar. I'm not entirely sure. I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. Dude, I don't know what's going on. So, why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... You want to show some initiative. Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. Uh, what if we get caught? What's the, what about the librarian? How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. Okay. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution will yeah. help. For one, and we'll be sent to the forbidden forest. <laughs> Aside from one so, destruction of property, he loves not really that bad the thing. The likes of us. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. Okay. I'm assuming that we're just going straight to nighttime then. Yeah. Meet Sebastian. Hey, Sebastian. How's it going, bud? See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. <laughs> Give it a try. Yeah, that's true, spells are free. There we go. Just unlocking all of the spells. Which I guess we probably should change one of these out for it. Um, how do I remove them again? Oh, okay, here we go. So, yeah, since we're, we're not, probably not gonna need Lumos. Maybe at the moment, but we can easily switch it back if we need to. Okay. I'll be quieter than a job or not. Oh. How long does it last for? That's the question. Do they get distracted by that? No. Blast. The librarian's still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. Oh, that's... That's... You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said 
usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key yeah. is in the. If we're standing in the open, how does she not now, see us? Here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Why do we need the key? Yeah. Wait, why do we need a key? Isn't there a spell for this? Hello, Homora. That's how I always used to get in. But the librarian twigged that I knew the spell and cast an anti Alohomora charm on the lock. So now it's just this key. But don't worry. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Mm hmm. Alright, he did that himself. Oh. The key. Here it is. The, what the hell is he doing? Is someone there? No. Is that you, Peeves? No. <laughs> Should we close the gate or no? Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. Okay. Oh. Wait, what? Ghost, don't let her see you. Did that work? Wait, what? Oh! Hi! How's it going? <laughs> I, I was so confused, like, where? Well, I guess I got caught. Abandoned quest. Let's go back to our dorms and go to sleep and just all forget about this. Where are you gonna spot me? Wait, where am I? Oh. Yeah, I get. Ghost, don't let her see. You. Did that work? Where? This damn ghost. Ooh. Ah, damn it. Go that way. No, not oh. Must have done nothing. Just what? Like dearly departed a magic. Oh shit, 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 oh shit. Alright, that works. Should be in the clip. No need for us to be skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else is given. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Oh. What's up, big fella? No, you don't like that? All right. Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. Oh, it's the thing. Oh, it's the thing that grabs your hand. The thing, the thing. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Oh. What the hell? Who have we here? Um. Sebastian Solo and his new little friend out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you? I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. 
All right. Oh, blasted peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Don't get in trouble. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. I don't know how I feel about this. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? Okay. I know just the spell to repair this armor. Let me answer. Uh. Nope. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to switch back to one of them. What was it? Oh, it was this one. That's right. Uh, let's do that. Repair. Okay. Oh. What the hell? I can't see a damn thing. <laughs> Don't know where I'm running to. Whoa. Of course, traces of ancient magic. That's it. Oh gosh. I don't know about this. Uh, this is this is this is definitely dumb. Oh. There's the big chest. Oh, all right. Might this lead? Oh, let's find out. What the hell? Um, discover the secret wallet. Yeah, there's nothing here. Am I, am I supposed to be doing something? Ah, I need to wake up that rune over there. Wake it up? What do you mean? Oh, I see it. Alright. Not surprising. Guards at the ready. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh! Oh! Uh, that works. I don't mind that. What the fuck? Ah! Take that! Oh shit. That is so cool. Nice. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. I felt like Captain America right there for a second when he first picked up the hammer. What's up, guys? Whoa. Hey, that's not very nice. Oh, what the? Not why I made it. All right. <laughs> uh, see, why is the way forward? But to where? Yeah. Question is, is why is there? Oh. Okay. So why is this all under the school? Are you ready? Ah! Uh, it's about me. Ah, sensitivity. It is really weird. 
All right, I'm getting new stuff. That's cool. Oh gosh, this is gonna end badly. How's it going, guys? Oh. Get him out of here. Ah. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, they can see me. Wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad, especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the 
Beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, <clears throat> Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. And she goes to talk to someone about it. By the way. Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Okay. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? Very true. So I guess he does have... He can trust him in some form. Sebastian? Where do I need to go? <laughs> I'm lost. I, I, I don't remember where I need to go. I mean, I guess I can teleport, right? Uh, what's my objective? That's the question. Oh, I can't even look here. Uh, quest, no assignments. Do I just go back to my like, dorm room? Question is, it, is, is, how do I get there? Okay, there we go. I was like, nothing's popping up. <laughs> so, I don't, I was like, I don't know where the fuck I go. Return to the, to Professor Fig's classroom. Yeah, he might not be too happy that we disobeyed him. Uh, we'll see what happens. Can you open? Thank you. What is happening? Am I being chased? Alright. Professor Fig! I know I sort of disobeyed you, but... I got- I got what we needed. I don't know what it is really, but I got it. It's, the castle's quite creepy at night, not gonna lie. Jeez, here we go. We're going quests. Ah, so we just stood here all night waiting for him. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. Hi. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's. Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, 
I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh, jeez. Uh, never mind, I guess he doesn't care. <laughs> Dear, some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. Uh... What will you tell them about Mr. Rosrick's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. Okay. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Okay. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Alright. But at the beginning of the series uh, of the game, didn't he say that it's that it's um, a first year, uh, well, a first time in fifth, like, you know, words. Um, no. What, but wasn't it said like there it would never happened before where we had a first year that it was a fifth year? Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. All right. So you want me to teleport there? All right. Select the world map. Oh, okay. Whoa. Okay. Oh, so it's outside of the school. So you just want me to... Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm quite busy at the moment. Everyone wants me at, at this time of day, don't they? So, I mean, I guess might as well do this one since it's right there and we don't have to go that far. And there might be a spell that could help us in the... in whatever that Nate, uh, Nate, Nady needs help with. I don't know. Find out. Because there's some things that you can't do without a certain spell. So, maybe... Let's do this one first. Alright. But yeah, some of this... I don't remember this section at all in the movies. I get that buildings change over time, but I don't remember that part that much at all. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Begin quest. Onion again. Oh, what the? 
Oh, Sebastian. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. Yeah, do you know my name? Say my do name. look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the belting bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Okay. Oh. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> I didn't like how she was doing that. Now, she goes in. Everyone, grip the mandrake <laughs> by the tendrils and give it a firm touch. Oh no. Oh, oh, you're gonna make me do it? Oh god. Oh, you oh you want me to do it. Okay. Why are these things alive? Why do we even disturb the soil them? Should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Sure. Repair. Oh yeah, that, that should, should be a problem if we repair things. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Really, that's it. We we, we learned the one thing in excess of class. Now for our next task, we'll be planting oh. dittany at our potting tables. I was about to say. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knot grass. Or Sebastian, suck Sebastian. What's up? No, no talking. All right. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. What is this? Oh, okay. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why, the very idea. Okay. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I nearly went to death. Uh, yeah. I'll say. Nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the magic neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Okay. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mithras this new restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganwell potion, as you all should know from Professor Sh. Well done! Oh. Okay. Once it can be harvested, your dittany will be ready to use in Wiganwell potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what we'll say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. Like Sebastian? Do bite. Oh, oh, all right. Wait, Sebastian, uh, 
Le Hello. Uh, Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice I'm to meet you. Too. I'll be showing you the ch nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Oh. Okay. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian, and he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good, but you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well. Thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Now, see that dummy? Just no. toss the cabbages at it. And they'll do the rest. Um. Oh, you mean the cabbages I picked up? Oh, okay. I was like, um. What the? Then they can get their mouths on. Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. <laughs> sure, but that's just a dummy. I was imagining. Uh, I suppose they could prove useful speed. outside nice, the greenhouse. I guess. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there, trolls and hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and death cap has more of them if you're keen. Yeah, Other got my phone. Too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Uh, is this not class? Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Uh, I'm gonna beat you there. Let's go have a race. Oh. Well, why did we not just go this way and we took the long route? Right. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable <laughs> plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. As 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 Am I? Plants offer so much. Don't care much for plants, honestly. No, Magical don't, plants don't have say so that. To offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. All right. So that one's done. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new parts. Only cost me my damned hearing. And are we supposed to go meet our professor, other professor now? Oh, I probably should stop pausing the game and the game will update me, I guess. There we go. Alright. Now, I don't want to de- um, neglect- uh, neglect? I don't want to ignore my friend Natty, but she's just really out there. <laughs> like, so that's kind of want to attend to po potion classes. Okay. Oh, right here. That's the last time I heard of someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Ah. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, but I can hear you. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Not dead. Points for Ravenclaw. 
Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. All right. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Okay. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Oh, uh, good to know. Add another one. Alright. Stir that up. Make it like it's hot stew. Did I do good? Uh, I'm not gonna be like uh, ne uh, Nedry, where he puts his face over it and it goes. Psh. Was it even Nedry? I don't even think it was Nedry. It was some mm. other kid. Not uh, an easy yeah. potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, nice. and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. All right. Where's my workstation? My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Collect uh Azure and eggs and dark Okay. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Uh you heard correctly? Why do you want to know? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of oh, God. G with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, yes, sir. Yeah. anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Uh, 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 you know, whatever. I'll get you the fooper feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. This is this is gonna go and bite me in the ass, isn't it? Okay. And now the feather. That is a big purple feather. Or, uh, yeah. I don't. I don't know how he's, he's not gonna miss that. Here's the fourth feather you wanted. Brilliant. Thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Uh, uh, okay. Where's my brewing? Oh, it's right here. Should you drop the didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. Uh, well, good question. I don't know. Nope, not that one. Okay. And wait. now we add the mallow sweet and Oh we gotta actually That's wait. Good. What's happening? That's kinda cool. Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -uh. Oh god! Dragon Dog! What happened? <laughs> well done, Garrett. Uh yeah. Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Uh -huh. 
Stupid as Ron Weasley, Mr. you are. Weasley did not do this on his own. His uh. accomplice will answer to me as well. No thanks. Did I do that wrong? Oh, return to oh. Uh. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student i'm glad i was able to meet your expectations a rare occurrence and you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet in addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves pay particular attention in herbology the plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Alright. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Process dismissed. Not bad. Can I talk to Sebastian? 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 You're not Sebastian. Oh, my robes are going to reek from Gareth's inspiration for the rest of term. How's it going? That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. <laughs> you got me in trouble. Yeah, you got me in trouble. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. Uh, next time that we talk, I ain't getting you anything ever again, because clearly you don't know what you're doing. Like, freaking Ron Weasley. Um. What are you up to now? Okay. What now? There's nothing left, right? Or is that it? Okay, I'm assuming that's all I gotta do here. Let's just go. Let's go. Let's go here now, since meet me. Okay, cool. Which it's making me go all the way around. No, oh, this is gonna be a long journey. <laughs> uh, but you know what? I am fine with exploring the castle. Because this is honestly pretty cool. I'm really enjoying this game. Like I like, I'm just outstanned as by how uh, there's a couple bugs right there. Uh, how good this looks and how well it's running, and how much like work was put into it. It's just it sucks that for some people that are on old gen won't be able to get get into like July. So it's in, it's very interesting how people are going to be reacting to that. Well, PC and next gens are able to play it. So. But, where's Hedrick's, like, hut? Is that, does that even exist? Does he build that himself? I don't know. There's just so much stuff that you can do. God, just look at the scale of that castle. Um. Where do I need to go? Mm. Just look at that. That is awesome. <laughs> okay, this game looks awful. What's wrong with you? There's the bridge where where we blow it up in the movie, part two. I know that in, in Activision's version of of that game, it is like a little rough. Hmm. Interesting. That is so cool. Uh, love it. I don't know if we're gonna make any bad decisions in throughout this uh, playthrough. 
I kind of want to, I really do want to get the good ending because <laughs> whenever I do try in general to get the good ending, I somehow get the bad ending. I, I guess I'm just that terrible person. But we'll see where it goes. We'll, we'll have a little fun with it. I want to learn some, you know, for uh, uh, unforbidden uh, spells and all that, but it should be fine for the most part. Oh, there's Hedrick's house, right? This is, at least it looks like it. This looks but, intriguing. Yeah, it might be a trap. And so, but yeah, one of the professors, um, so the, the guy that was chasing us was a professor here, interesting enough. But how long have you been standing here? It is good to see you, my friend. Yeah. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Mm. Rock, Rockwood, that's what his name. The two of them pursuing the Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, yes. it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To oh, really? Of us. I'm glad that you why I wanted to <laughs> include yourself. To you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. I'm glad to hear that. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Wait, Be so you call- God. You, you called me all the way out here just to tell me that? You could- we... beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? Well, luckily that you called me out here, because I'm going to go investigate something. Sir, what's it, what's it going on? I must have come this way, think! What in the name? I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to- Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Uh. Oi, speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid. Uh huh. Hey, get stupid. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to attack you. Oh, what the fuck? What is? Oh. Yeah, they, 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 they ain't alive after that. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Uh, well, geez, thanks. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> ah! Uh, not very good, not gonna lie. Uh, grab it, grab it. Is she dead? Alright, uh, she's dead. Oh. 
Do we do it? Uh... What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Can you less. tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. Uh... You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin. Gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Okay. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff. Brilliant person. Hufflepuff? I'm a Hufflepuff. Up in Nocturne Alley. Let's go. She's a traveling High five. Wonder. Here's what's going Hufflepuff. on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Um, how extraordinary. I thought Merlin was a myth. Uh, I don't know. This could go both ways. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Okay. How fascinating. Seems a bit uh, tedious now. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if the Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols? Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Okay. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Ooh. Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. My camera was acting weird during that. Hopefully it doesn't uh, freak out during... This trunk. I don't know. If it does, yes, I'll take plenty. edit it out or something. Some. At least my face cam. I don't know. We'll find out. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Wait, what do you want me to do? Oh, this, okay. Uh. What? Did you see that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Solve the Merlin's. Accio, Levioso, Repairo. No. What about our? Oh, I know that, but. Revelio. Uh, there must be a spell that no. Oh, wait. Fire. 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 Right? No? These pillars are pyres, and pyres are meant to be lit. Well, I'm trying to light them. 
Seems not to be working. Incendio. Oh, that. There we go. Okay. The flames make the pyre sink. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. Oh. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Okay, thank and you. Do be careful out here. Yeah. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. And I'll return to the safety of my school. Of somewhat. Level 8? Nice. Alright, it seems like we can teleport back to the school. But you know what? I do really want to walk. I just I just want to explore it. Portrait in our common oh. room wants to talk to you. Uh -oh. It's Eldritch Diggory. He used to be the minister for magic, I think. Oh no. Well, this is gonna turn out something. Can I go across that bridge? Please somebody can go across the bridge. That would be cool. I mean you should be able to explore I think they said that you can explore literally every part of the castle. But I just want to go uh, as like a shortcut across the bridge. Why is it going to take me that way? Let's go this way. Can we go this way? Yeah, why is... I'm so confused. We're going this way, game. Unless it doesn't really like me going this way. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we can go this way. It's, I don't know why it's taking me to go all the way around. I feel like this would have been a lot faster. But sick. Oh. Uh, need a level. Okay. But I do want to find like the Gryffindor section so we can do the so we can go across those stairs. Is that even, is that even, or are those don't exist yet? I don't know. I don't know what exists in this time period and doesn't. I'm not like a, I'm not like a, like a buff type of person. I'm more like buff into like Star Wars and all that. I don't know that much about like Harry Potter lore, but I know a good, decent of like the movies wise. Which I'm pretty sure that this is canon to those. Oh, jeez. Oh. Just the lighting in this game is actually freaking awesome, and the de and the detail into like the grass and the leaves and all of that is so cool. All right, are we almost there? <laughs> Realize I've been running for a long time. Yeah, come on, push the door open. What? What? We're almost there. Hey, it's what? me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Uh, sure. Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, oh, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisdom-inspired no. beverage, no. but I'm missing a key ingredient. I'm not getting it for you. Where do you find time for this and your homework? I've plenty of time for both. Been managing for years. So... I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing whisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for I a wonder while. why. My own bruise. 
I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to no. the cellar I... and have a few dried billywig stings for me. Literally, no. Uh, it sounds rather uh, untoward. Uh, untowards. Secret passage right up this my street. Uh, no. I don't know, Gareth. Secret passage to a cellar. Sounds like it's off limits. Not at all. It's a perfectly legitimate secret passage. I'd use it if I could. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Really? <laughs> uh, Are you asking me to steal from a shop? Goodness, okay. it's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honeydukes is more Green dot, than Gringotts, that's what I was thinking of. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed, trust me. I was like, what is... But green guy, it's not dive alley. It's green dogs. Yeah, can't find someone to buy Why them. You have someone buy the dried billywigs things. They're not for sale, and you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So, the reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. I mi I made a mistake talking I'll to you. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. Uh huh. Damn it. I'm not doing that right now. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. Or do or do I? I which do I have no choice? Be too okay. hard to find. One. Oh, I hear those stairs. Oh my. F oh. Oh, that's not the exact. Okay, no. That's not what I was thinking of, but sort of. This looks like the right statue. What, what? What was the password? Where? Oh. Descendium. Goodness. Who knew this was all down here? Oh god, what, what did I get myself into? This, oh jeez. A lift must be how I get down. Yeah, I'm uh, sorry. It's broken though. Yep. Repair it. That seems to have done the trick. This is this is gonna end badly. Literally, I I thought he was just gonna thank me. I could go on my way, but no, he wanted to do. He wanted me to go off on a side quest and get myself this in more trouble. will never trouble. cease to surprise me. Oh boy. Yeah, why is all this stuff under the castle? Like, <laughs> this is totally not safe, and someone's gonna come upon this and, like me, explore it. I'm all for exploring. But, oh god, spiders. I hate spiders. It's, it's a, this was a trap. Uh, probably the fire one would probably do the trick, right? Incendio. Yeah! Big brain. Um, oh. Maybe it's I'm trapped. Uh, okay, there we go. Going to have to get past this. Yeah, oh, I see. Jump! Whoa! Ow. Oh no, it's gonna be repair up. Uh, just going back and forth with all of these. Repower. And Let now this. There we go. Oh, not up there, me. Oh my fuck. <laughs> all right. Uh, it seems like I don't need this one at the moment. Let's just do that. Incendio. Incendio. 
to go and I'll make it across. Is it? Uh, okay. Leviosa. Repair her. Leviosa. Something is getting in the way of that platform. Oh. Repair her. No. Ah, okay. Leviosa. That did the trick. Alright. Interesting enough. Whoa. This must be the I need to find a way to open that gate. Incendio. See, isn't the secret chamber somewhere down here? How does no one find the secret chamber? Something smells sweet. When this is practically somewhat in the same realm. Unless the bathroom is completely on Sometimes a different side. It seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Honey juice. I can smell the chocolate. Oh, no. chocolate. Why would I chocolate? Really wake stings for gas. Chocolate? You s oh, did I enter back? Oh, I did. Whoopsies. I didn't mean to do that. Let's go back out. <laughs> I honestly didn't mean to do that. Uh, but. Yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying these longer videos. Honey jukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dry yeah, billy wig yeah. stings yeah, for Gareth? Yeah, he said that. Um, oh. I have the dried billy wig stings. Now back to Gareth. Now back to I Gareth. I can really imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. Really? I'm back over here now. Is it dark out? It is. Jeez. Alright. <laughs> Time to go back. Can I just teleport over there? I don't want to actually now travel all that way. I don't really care that much about Gareth <laughs> uh, to run all the way towards him. Uh, no? Here, travel there. There we go. But yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying these longer videos because um, I do enjoy, I'm actually really enjoying this game and I wouldn't mind going out of my way trying to put out longer, uh, the longer videos and to edit them and all of that. Now, they are sort of a hassle because the first episode took a while for it to go up. I like, at least when it came to storage, apparently I had storage problems and such as trying to find it. Oh, hi. Okay. Am I even going the right way? Track, track his quest. There we go. Did I? Wait, what? What did I just do? Did I stop untracking his quest? Hold on. I went all that way. Did I just undo that quest? Oh, fuck. Dude, what the hell? Alright, well... I don't know what I'm doing with this map. Might as well track this one. It, it will go in the same direction, I guess, but I didn't mean to untrack it or undo it. Now I can't do it. I, I hope. I hope that wasn't the case. <laughs> oh, that was, that's really annoying, if that is the case. Hey, Weasley. Weasley head. Okay, thank goodness you're right here. Hello again. Hi. Were you able to get to Honey Dukes? Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywigs things. You got them? Incredible. Yeah, I'm a thief now. All yours for a fee. Getting them was more work than I expected. I'd like to be paid for my time. Of course. Didn't think it would be that much trouble, but I'm happy to pay for your help. Yeah. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. If he's gonna make us do that type of stuff, he's definitely gonna be paying us. Alright. Now let's go speak to this, um... El Eldritch Diggory? That's how you say his name, right? I mean, I guess I could say Diggory. It'd be a lot easier trying to say his freaking first name. Alright. Oh, whoa, hold on. Revelio. 
Nice. Hello? You wanted to see me, sir? Indeed. Oh, it's okay. Allow me to introduce myself. So few students know who I am these days. Heldridge Diggory, former minister for magic and founder of the Aura Recruitment Program at your service. I believe you can help solve a decades old murder thanks to that book you found and, in particular, its missing pages. How do you know about the book and the pages? We portraits here more than you might suspect, and most of us can keep a secret. So, I'd say you. Surely a Hufflepuff such as yourself would be inclined to help seek long overdue justice. Uh, justice must be, uh, must be served, yeah, I I'll guess. do whatever I can. Wonderful. I am pleased to have been right about you. My great niece, Helen Thistlewood, can provide you with details. She's retired now, but was a skilled aura in her day. And the unsolved murder of which I speak was her case. I often visit my portrait in her home, in the nearby hamlet of Upper Hogsfield. Shall I tell her to expect you? Uh, sure. I shall go and see her right away. Brilliant. With what I suspect is your knack for hard work and her keen mind, both mysteries may be solved sooner than you think. I shall see you there. Soon, I hope. Soon, I hope. All right. <laughs> Running my way, all. Oh god, that is a that is a long run. I might have to edit this out. <laughs> oh, what was that? Did I break something? Or uh, or teleport? Like, where are we going first? That's big big question. Uh. Holy cow, we're going pretty fucking far. All right, you know what? Let's just teleport here, so you can do half of that. All right, I did. I did get. The, I did say that I wouldn't mind running, but that is freaking far. So we're just gonna teleport. All right. There we go. So now we cut half of that. Yeah. Well, I mean, not that much, but it's better than a thousand, I guess, because we still have to run all the way over here. Um. Wow, look at that. That is cool. These rocks have seen better days. Uh, these rocks? Repower. That didn't do anything. What are you talking about? Are you... All right. I thought I could fix something. Uh, let's continue on. Oh, jeez. <laughs> but let me know what you guys' thoughts on the game so far. I'd be very curious on what you guys think. Because I'm just, I'm really enjoying it. I, it's, it's something that you could do... E, I, so far, it doesn't seem that difficult to play. Now, it will definitely get later on in the game where it's like, where you're going to need to use a lot of combos and all that. But if you're interested in like trying to learn certain things of the Harry Potter world, the Wizarding world, this is like, this is definitely going to give you some lore to it. And it's, and so far it's really good. I'm really enjoying it. And so, just sprinting my way over there. My guy doesn't ever run out of breath or anything like that. Oh, it's all the way over here. I guess I could have teleported a little bit more closer, I guess. <laughs> but I guess I didn't. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Oh, my bad. Oh, boy. All right. 500 meters away or so. Feet. However you want to do it. We in America say feet. You guys say meters. Oh, I can't. Sorry, cat. I don't have time to stop and chat. Uh, we're going around, around town. Oh, we're going further out. Oh, I found on the teleporter right there. Oh, just look at the mysterious fog. That is so cool. Dude, you should join the marathon. I think you would win, like, uh, like the join the tr uh, track team. You'd be unstoppable because no one, <laughs> you don't run out of breath at all. Oh my gosh! Wah! Okay, I was trying to make you feel cool by jumping over that, but you 
did that instead. Alright then. Cut through the fields. Oh jeez, fucking scared. Long ago. Stop it! Ban it. Bad scarecrow. Well. Am I supposed to be in my dorm room by now? Are we not allowed to be out at night? Isn't that a thing? No? Alright. Okay, uh, there we go. Ah, oh, jeez. You really don't like people if you live all the way out here in the middle of nowhere. It's like you have your own little castle. This must be the place Minister Diggory mentioned. Yes, right are. in. I'm pleased to see you took my advice. More or less. I'm gonna read this note, by the way. Oh god. Um. Isn't what I expected. I enjoy the le uh, lesser time uh, of, of course, but I do miss uh, the ex excite excitement of hunting magical f uh, fugitives. I know you're not supposed to admit that you actually enjoy the the turmoil associated with the job, but how can you feel anything other than it ex ex acceleration acceleration uh, when chasing a you Ukraine iron iron belly through a uh, Muggle city and then out obliterating all the mug of the Muggles who saw you are following a dark wizard plot to take over the mystery and any armory of Chinese ch uh, chopping ch chopping right um, ca uh, cabbages oh yeah chopping cabbages uh, using only a single uh, basic of uh, Bouncing bulbs. Uh, when the ministry finally wakes all uh, all of my old cases public, uh, my neighbors will ne never look at this, uh, me the same way again. Old uh, Matt uh, Matt Dan uh, Thistlewood Thistlewood down the uh, lane is the one who puts that nasty brute uh, so uh, and and so in Azkaban. For now, I can uh, near uh, nearly uh, insinuate less. I divulge, divulge. Okay, something uh, conventional. I would hate to force my former colleagues into locking me away in Axven. Not, uh, not an appealing thought. Well, I suppose I ch uh, should check on my garden. The bluebells have been struggling these seasons. All right, interesting. I'm going to take your money as well. Madam Thistlewood, I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. I'm pleased you came. Uncle Eldritch believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very oh. well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. It was in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Serious Black? That sounds terrible, but I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Anne insisted that Jackdaw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jackdaw's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jackdaw's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. I don't understand. What can I do to help? I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now, but after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former self. She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust, and she trusts no one. Oh, but she'll trust me. A student with a connection to the pages, like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne. She might reveal new information. 
Uh, I'll come with you to that. Sure. That's a horrible story. Yeah, let's do that. If you think I can help, I'll come with you. This is wonderful news. You are to be commended for your kindness and bravery. Fortunately, being a retired aura has its benefits. We can apparate right to her. I've escorted ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. I never never see a student, I yeah. admit, but I will keep you safe. Uh, yeah, sure. Very well. Let's go. <laughs> Steady this is yourself. Turn out. We'll apparate together. Don't worry. I've never splinched anyone. This is, this is Do take care now, and tread lightly in that horrible place. We'll be there in but a moment. Okay, going to Asuban. We're just exploring a lot today. Jeez. And we're also sort of committing a crime, if you think about it. Oh. to keep them at bay for now though be aware you may feel a wave of despair it will pass thank you for the warning uh. this really is a dismal place but we'll be out of here soon enough now follow me got it the dementals won't harm us now still be careful i never thought i'd see the inside of azkaban for myself nasty dementals not even i could convince the ministry to send them off there's no need for such monsters. Uh, okay. If I had my wand, I'd cast Crucio on the lot of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. For sure. I wasn't even trying to. That witch you with has a dark cloud over us. I can feel it. What is that? I. Perhaps death in all its mercy. Wait, are we okay? I'm, I guess I'm just in the way. No oh, one at school's going to believe this. Now remember, Anne has been here a long time. The Dementors aren't kind. Have patience and speak to her quietly and respectfully. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll try to. Are you Anne? Who's there? Who speaks to me? Is that death finally come for me? Yes. From Hogwarts. I found the book that you said would exonerate you. Ah, the book, the book. No one would look. None of the mages found the pages. Methinks the feckless knave meandered to his cave. My fate was surely sealed in He has no expression on his face at all. I think I understand. Why must you be so cryptic? Yeah. Are you saying that the missing pages are in a cave? Near Upper Hogsfield? Hogs, Hogs, Field, Field, Ruins house, a vault concealed. A vault in some ruins near Upper Hogsfield. I suppose it can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look, can't hurt to look. Go find the pages from your book, Helen. Ellen, no, you're here. Come in closer, be a dear. Oh, God. What is it, Anne? Oh, uh, yeah. All right. All right. Well. Go. The cave. You're safe now. You have what you need. I'll be alright once I get... Uh, <laughs> bye. Alright. But, Madam Thistlewood, I... Alright. I'll find it. I'll find it, I'll don't find worry. Jack Dawes cave. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Yeah, uh, how far do we need to go? Oh, not too far. 
Not surprised that came back to bite us in the ass. Uh, but I'm very curious, like, how she did, like, what spell did she use? I don't, I don't know. But, alright. Oh. A serious cave ahead of us. Totally. Here, I wonder. Totally gonna come in this out must be fine. The place Anne told me about. Um. Incendio. No. Leviosa. No. Oh. <laughs> no one's been here for ages. I was overthinking it. I was like, oh, maybe there's a secret passage right here. No. It's just you know, all around the corner. Um, is it? Uh, incendio. No, not that you. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Do I need to pull all these out? Like, is there like a? No, no. that's not it. No. Uh, How did you do this, Jackdaw? Okay. It's no wonder I never found that. No, that's not it. Yeah, I I can figure that out. No. No, damn it. How did you do this, Jackdaw? Wait, what? Oh, okay. I see how this goes. Do you now? Because I don't. Okay. Now I'm assuming it's this one up there. You couldn't outwit me, Jackdaw. Now, where's the clue you left behind? There we go. Uh, my dearest Anne, well done. You solved my puzzle. I knew you uh, were a ki uh, kinder. Uh, spirit and the only one with uh, whom I could trust leaves share my adventures. Meet me at the edge of the for Bidden Forest as soon as you can and I will show you the map that I mentioned. Uh, there is no telling uh, where it will lead us. I found it uh, I found it on pages that Perfees read from a secret book and no one else seems to be able to find I I haven't any idea what uh, what lies ahead but I am glad to know I shall share my future with you this is only the beginning Richard PS I am a terribly glad I am terribly glad you found this as w as would as would I have gone on alone if you did not and what fun would that be a note from Jackdaw Anne never found it. So how did he die? Was she to blame at all? Are we gonna go to the Forbidden Forest now? Uh, oh, leave the vault. Okay. Interesting. I should investigate. Yeah. Whoa, hello. Could it be that someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? I heard you disappeared years ago. You have some explaining to do. I do? That was my puzzle you solved. What are you doing here? A retired aura, Helen Thistlewood, told me about a map you stole from Peeves. And then Anne told me about a cave. You saw Anne? Broke my heart. I had to go on without her. Probably best of her in the end. Dare I ask? How is she? <laughs> no, I, uh, not well, I'm afraid yet. You ruined her life. <laughs> no, just don't. She was imprisoned in Azkaban for your murder. I fear the Dementors have taken an irreversible toll on her. What? Azkaban? Oh, poor Anne. I had no idea. I thought she'd written me off. I've been traveling the world for years to mend my broken heart. I came back here only recently, on a whim. I must speak to the aura you mentioned and see how I can help Anne. I'm glad to hear it. Before you go, 
Would I still be able to find the pages with the map Helen mentioned? I'm almost certain I dropped them in the cave the moment I was beheaded. They're bound to be mouldering away with the rest of me. Oh, God. Tell you what. Ugh. Meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you precisely where to find them. Great, lovely. How did you lose your head? Wait, what? Uh, yeah, I was asking if that question. If you don't mind me asking, how did you lose your head? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do find yourself in a cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Nice. Sweet. Helen mentioned Apollonia Black. Did she set up Anne to take the fall? Have you never met any members of the Black family? They can be rather vindictive. I, I, Once one, Anne showed an one of them is, your, is our professor, alone. head professor. That her own heart had grown cold simply didn't matter. How is it possible to steal from Peeves? A poltergeist. I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. Found them on the floor outside the library where he discarded them. Not my luckiest find, all things considered. Yeah. Thank you. I need to find those pages to help a friend. I shall see you there. Right now? You want to, you want to go there now? Castle. Must have been quite stately in its time. Uh, how do I get out? There we go. There we go. New quest, sweet. Wait, you want to go down this way? All right. Well, that's where we're gonna end. That's kind of all the time I have here for right now. Um, next episode we'll go there and go to the Forbidden Forest. This one is a this one is a pretty long episode, but yeah, I am really out of time to be honest. But anyway, hope you guys are enjoying the series. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these longer videos. Let me know by hitting the like button, hitting that like button, and subscribing if you're new because that's the only way I can really know. And also let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to see more of this. But anyway, thanks for watching. Like always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.